So this morning, um, we're going to do a Medicine Buddha uh, meditation. Uh, I don't know if anyone knew Venerable Palmo here in the Bay Area. So she passed away yesterday morning. Then we also have our dear Venerable Chosang who passed away maybe a week or so ago as well. So, and then Coral's lost a few friends this week. This week, right? Yeah. So that's interesting, isn't it? Okay, so what I wanted to do is something very sweet. There's Victor. Hi, Victor. There's something very sweet at the beginning of this um, practice that we're going to do today. I wanted to read to you. I'm sure you already know all of this, but anyway, where is it? Lost it. Okay. Before I do, let's just, and Lou, can I, am I able to share? Oh, yes, I am. All right. Let's just read this first. Let's just settle into our meditation posture and uh, just check where your mind's at this morning. And again, just knowing wherever you are at, um, just realize you're completely fine. It's all okay. It all will be okay. Check your posture, shoulders align with the hips, sitting on top of your sits bones and lengthen your spine. It is very slightly tip forward, eyes are down, looking along the length of the nose, tip of the tongue on the roof of the mouth and relax the jaw. Bring the mind to the breath and just notice the sensations, the air flowing in and out of the nostrils. You might also notice the sensation of the air and the breathing, the rising, the falling of the chest. And if you're wearing a belt around your waist, maybe you can feel the expansion of your belly. And then bring your awareness to the crown of the head and just release with all the tension there, the scalp, release the scalp on the forehead, the face, the back of the head, back of the neck, the shoulders. And just relax the back body, the front body, and all your limbs. And bring the mind to the breath again. Just notice if there are sounds in your environment, and just allow those sounds to be there. Trying not to follow with the mind. And then um, check those thoughts that are arising. Just again, allow them. And try not to fight them, judge them, criticize them. And if there's thoughts there that aren't really serving you, maybe you have a package of anxiety thoughts or angry thoughts, and you can just pop those thoughts on a little soft cloud, beautiful little lotus, and just send them on their way. I realize it's not that simple, but it's a place to start. And then let's put ourselves on the bank of our river and watch it. Is that water flowing quietly? Is it, is it turbulent? Is it rushing? Is it clear? And then just know that while you're sitting on the bank, of that river, you're free from the river. And think of all the people of your life. The friends. <clears throat> the ones that are difficult for you and then are strangers. Remembering they can change place. They're all equal. 
in their wish to be happy and their wish to be free from suffering and having this capacity for an enlightened mind. So we'll do this Medicine Buddha practice today with some mantra for the benefit of all these people of our life and for those of us who've lost friends this past month. And we can also continue to think every time we do some form of practice dedicated for the swift return of Lama Zopramashe. So in, in Buddhism, you may have noticed there's a quite an emphasis on the interrelationship between the mind and the body and our health. So um, Buddha would talk that the negative aspects of the mind lead to sickness and unhappiness. And your more positive aspects can lead to good health and happiness. So these, some of these negative states of mind, such as, you know, anger towards others, you know, this, this creates dis-ease in the body, disease. And while there are a lot of other factors at play, this, um, these negative thoughts that we have, if we allow them to kind of run our mind, it starts to affect the body. So it's always good to keep in mind, or also for our own self-preservation, when we're feeling angry or upset or anxious, to somehow not give ourselves a hard time about it, but to think about perhaps if we can get on top of these things, it would be better for our health. So we're going to do here this um, practice of the Medicine Buddha. I'll put up the this uh, image. Now again, this is painting. Anka. Um, so we can just imagine when we imagine this Medicine Buddha on the crown of our head that this is actually a light body. So this image is just a, a guide. <clears throat> and these images create imprints in the mind. You know, they say everything we look at, everything we see, everything we hear, everything we smell, anything that we receive through our senses imprints our mind. So this is why we have to be a little bit careful about what we're spending time looking at, absorbing. So um, you see an image like this. It does remain in the mind at some level, even though we might not be able to cog consciously recall detail. So relax around trying to remember everything in there and just place this, you can just place this image or um, a memory of the image as a light body of, of blue on the crown of your head. So you can also imagine that this is the mind of your teacher, if you have a teacher. So the Buddha's a couple of inches above the crown of the head, facing the same way as you. You can also imagine he's sitting on an open lotus. His legs are crossed. And he's made of this sapphire color, deep blue except it's crystalline with a sapphire, so it's light. And every aspect of this image is made of light and radiates light. And his right hand is resting on his right knee in the gesture of granting sublime realizations, so his palm is facing outwards. And he's holding the stem of the aurora plant between the thumb and the first finger, his forefinger. So that must be a medicine plant. And his left hand is in his lap in the gesture of concentration. And he's holding a bowl filled with nectar. And this is a nectar to pacify all our disease, all our negative thoughts, our negative conceptions. And he's wearing the three sapphire robes of a monk and has all the 
signs and marks of the fully enlightened Buddha. And his face is peaceful and smiling. And he's looking at all these people of your life as well as you with loving kindness and compassion. So spend a little a couple of minutes thinking about this Buddha above the crown of the head and understand that he is the embodiment of all enlightened beings and their sublime qualities. So really try and get a sense of this um, compassionate mind, this peaceful mind emanating from the Buddha above the crown of your head. So try and get a real a strong sense of that. I go for refuge until I'm enlightened to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By my practice of giving and other perfections, may I become a Buddha to benefit all sentient beings. May all sentient beings have happiness and the causes of happiness. May all sentient beings be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May all sentient beings be inseparable from the happiness that is free from suffering. May all sentient beings abide in equanimity free from attachment and anger that holds some close and others distant. To the Bhagavan Tathagata Arahat, fully enlightened Buddha, medicine guru, king of lapis, light or sapphire light, I prostrate, go for refuge and make offerings. May your vow to benefit sentient beings now ripen for myself as others and others. So imagine um, rays of light flowing down from the heart and body of the medicine Buddha and this light fills your body and purifies all disease, afflictions due to kind of like negative karma, delusions, mental obscurations. And imagine that all these negativities leave your body in the form of thick black liquid like engine oil. And your body becomes clean and clear as crystal. And you can imagine that all the other beings around you are experiencing this in the same way as we recite the mantra. Oh, Taya Taum, Bekunze, Bekunze, Maha Bekunze, Bekunze, Raja Samungate Svaha, Taya Taum, Bekunze, Bekunze, Maha Bekunze, Bekunze, 
Ranja Samangate Svaha Tayata Hom Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samangate Soha Tayata Hom Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samangate Soha Tayata Hom Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samangate Swaha Tayata Hom Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samangate Swaha Tayata Hom Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samangate Swam <coughs> Excuse me. Now this time imagine the light <clears throat> flowing from Medicine Buddha fills you again and brings all the realizations of the path to enlightenment and all the qualities of the Buddhas and the Bodhisattvas. And you can imagine that the same thing happens to all other beings and feel that you and all other beings have actually received these excellent qualities and that you've received the blessings and the inspiration of the medicine buddha as we recite the mantra again om tayata om bekanze bekanze maha bekanze bekanze 
Raja Samangate Swaha Taya Taum Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samangate Swaha Taya Taum Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samangate Swaha Taya Taum Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samangate Swaha Taya Taum Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samangate Swaha Taya Taum Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samangate Swaha Taya Taum Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samangate Swaha Now imagine the medicine Buddha melts into light. This blue light. And it absorbs into you through the crown of your head and down to your heart. You know, remember this is also the mind of your teacher. And imagine now your mind becoming one, just merging with all the enlightened minds of all the Buddhas. And just let your mind rest there in a state that's 
completely clear and peaceful and free from its usual busy thoughts and its conceptions. So we'll meditate like this for four minutes and really try and feel this is your true nature. This clear, luminous mind. So let's just dedicate all the merit and the positive energy we've created during this meditation. So it may bring all of us true physical, mental health and happiness and to all sentient beings and the cause of enlightenment, their eventual attainment of enlightenment. Okay, everyone. So I wanted to just check in before we leave. Is everyone okay if we do this meditation half an hour later? So for those of us on the West Coast, it would be 6.30. Mountain time, it would be 7.30. And on the East Coast, uh, 9.30. Does that work for everyone? Bobby, yeah? Okay. 
Lou, that work for you, Lorraine? Yeah, okay. So we won't change it just yet. Keep an eye on the website, but I'm going to ask Matt, who's interim director right now of Tukta Norberling, if I could push it forward half an hour. Okay. So thanks very much, everybody. Lots of love. Nice to see you all. Thank you for hosting, Lou. And I will see some of you this evening. Okay. Lots Thank of love, you, everybody. Okay.